kama kawaida leo tunakuja na another work lab work and we have preparation of standard solution or bench reagents uh, today we will look to concentrated sulfuric acid which uh, we're going to make two moles of these concentrated sulfuric acids uh, the apparatus or tools that we're going to use we have this drop of which in a mine inside we have put in water here this drop and then we have beaker to uh, thousand mils uh, which is equivalent to two liters we have funnel we have a measuring cylinder uh, 250 mils and we have our beaker you might be surprised what is beaker doing in here the beaker we're going to put these two I mean a very sufficient amount of concentrated sulfuric acid in here first before measuring in our measuring cylinder, right? So, at the principle, let's recall back the principle. You should you should not add acid, I mean water into acid, but you should take acid into water. So once we measure our two, one, uh, 110 mils of concentrated sulfuric acid here in, in measuring cylinder, we are going to take these mils into the 800 mils of water. Then after we finish, we can top it up to 2,000 mils, right? So now let's go. So carefully, you should open this. You should open this sulfuric acid because once you take consideration that sulfuric acid is a very strong acid, so open it. Confidently, but once you take precautions, so we open it was sealed. It. Just open a little by little. concentrated in here, right? They say I'm using this plastic one, you cannot see clearly now, but maybe if you can put this. Yeah, somehow you can see. Okay, we're going to measure what are seeds. We need 110.
very carefully. Okay. We are too much closed. So now we find the meniscus. Too much closed. We don't have any more. So because we are not yet on the map, we can should add another just a little. We find the meniscus because it's like few drops of this acid is needed. Below the meniscus, right? But not yet. Yeah. yeah, that's good. We're now below the meniscus, 110 mils of concentrated sulfuric acid. So, after we finish now, we take this steering rod, and this one, this one has been given, and we are going now to use for steering. When we put our acid, mind you, this is very strong acid, so when you are adding it into water, you should do it very slowly. Very slowly. And you can see here in this trough we have put in water because the reaction is too hot. Right? So we do it very slowly, as I told you. And whilst here. Distiller machine here. We produce distilled water, so we can tack here. Very sufficient amount. Okay, I think this is enough. Go back and put. Okay. Below the meniscus, as usual, still up the meniscus. Now this is below the meniscus, not yet. Yeah, this is now below the meniscus. So here we have done with preparing two moles of, of saturated acid. But once you finish to do your preparation, you can leave it for a couple of minutes, like three minutes or five minutes. Then safely, we take our empty bottle 
that we have already prepared so that we can put our uh, diluted uh, sulfuric acid. We had maybe if we had surplus here of diluted, we can take it back actually anyway because all these are uh, uh, concentrated. So we can take this concentrated back to the bottle. If you don't want to dilute it any longer, you can take it back to the bottle. So that the way we can prepare the the sulfuric acid in two moles. Just wait for a second, then we're going to take the bottle, empty bottle, and we can put this all together. Okay, so I'm taking this back here, not bad, the concentrated one, which was remaining a but only you can take the percussion. ready to have a lot of videos which can help you to work very safely in the lab. We have done with this and then we are about to prepare another practical for you.